First step, you're gonna jack it up and put it on jack stands. I put them on the end of the axle. Get your 21. Once you get your wheel off, you want to turn your steering wheel to the side you're going to be working. You want this as far out as possible. Alright, and then take this cotter pin out. And it's a night it's a 19 mil Try to get the screwdriver in there Ta-da! way harder than it should have been but things been in there a long time now take your 19. Again, real tight, take your breaker bar. did the passenger side so I know for this side it's going to be on there pretty good well it's going to be stuck in there pretty good so I'm just going to take a sledgehammer and beat the out of this when you finally get it should just pop right out. All right, so these tire rod ends are labeled right and left. So when you're driving the truck, right is the passenger side in America. Um, I'm going to throw some anti-seize on here. A bunch. I need to buy a new tube. Slider on in there. All right, same process with the left one. Just wanna lather this up like you did your baby mama. Screw her on in there. So even if you're gonna get it aligned after, you still wanna somewhat eyeball this. So I would say that's pretty close, but it's gonna be off still. So keep that in mind. So I tighten these, I eyeballed it, and I tighten these so they don't just wobble all around. Now, make sure you put the right side over there, left side over here. Just get her in here. So I put anti-seize on here as well, probably overkill, but 
There's no reason not to put it on. Get your 19, your new castle nut. Put it on there. Get your 19. Now, I'm not going to put the torque wrench on this. Be like, I don't know the torque specs. Normally, I would put them on the screen. But in this case, the Land Cruiser, get it tight. Um, now, you're going to want to line these, the hole up with your, so you can get your cotter pin in. Once you have both nuts on and your cotter pins in, you're going to want to tighten this locking nut. I have a one and one eighth. It's, I'm sure it's metric. I don't know what size it is. I don't have a 28 or 29. So. Snug it up. And I'm not cranking on these because I'm going to do a bunch of stuff and then take it to the alignment shop. So. Should be tight enough for now now that we finished the relay rod we can do the drag link again take your cotter pin out and i believe this is 19. once you get the cotter pin out take your 19. i'll use a mic back this time um now that i got this side this nut off take the steering stabilizer up it's got cutter pins in there and then I gotta take this bolt off so I'm gonna take those cutter pins out so this is the driver side or the left side nut on the steering rod whatever you want to call this I know I forgot the name of that but I'm gonna break this off and then I'll take this old steering stabilizer off and then we'll be good to put in our new parts. Once you get this nut off and you get this nut off, I'm not using any of this stuff. So I took the cotter pins out and was thinking I was gonna undo these. Just don't do that. I'm just taking the bracket off cause I'm not using any of this. Once you get the steering stabilizer off, you're going to whack pivot arm. the pivot arm. <laughs> They're opposites on this one. So, this is the original. One's down, one's up. But these are labeled right and left, so make sure you get that right. I just uh, tried to line them up close. Now, once you get the approximate length, just line your holes up, put her in there. You might have to turn the wheel a little bit to get this. I forget what it's called. Um, you got to get it. I put the passenger side in first, so I had to spin this to the passenger side, like turn right in order to get it on. But tighten your tighten her down with your 19, call her a day. Once you get all these 18s tightened, put your don't forget to put your cotter pins in. Okay, now put 
this is a one and one eighth. This isn't the right size, but it's good enough. It's a little too big. You want to tighten that. Okay, and then go to the other side. So in order, so I already tightened that side. To tighten the second side you do. I like putting some vice grips, put a towel on to protect it. Um, put some vice grips as tight as you can get them. Hold it. Because if you tighten this, it twists it and you don't want them, you, want, you don't want the boot like that. So hold this. Get it as tight as you can. So that should be good enough. And then I'll take it to the alignment shop because even though I got it close to what the old bars are at, it's never gonna be perfect, so always get alignment after i'm also having my girlfriend turn the wheel and just watching these new tie rod ends all right that's good now since the kit comes with the steering stabilizer um the oem one had that that piece built into the bar that the steering stabilizer bolted to but now we don't have it so you have to use these <clears throat> u-bolts that wrap around the bar so we're gonna go ahead and install that now so since the trail gear directions absolutely blow <clears throat> and the hardware doesn't fit my truck so this is the bolt they provide for where it mounts to the this bracket but this hole right here has an angle right as you can see it has an angle but <clears throat> the hole that i have like the only thing that fits in this hole are these threads and then it stops so i don't know if my bracket is not oem or if the bolt they provided is wrong. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So what I did was I bought these Iron Man 4x4 bolts. Which I got over here. Here's the part number. Okay. As you can see, looks a little more similar to the stock one, except it doesn't have, like you can't put a wrench on this. But I'll figure out how to tighten that later. <clears throat> um, so then, and it, <clears throat> it's still a little too big, as you can see. But I assume when I crank on the bolt, it's enough, I think, that the bolt will pull it down. But I put a washer, a lock washer, and one of the nylon nuts. And then, <coughs> same thing, shock, washer, lock washer nylon bolt I'm probably gonna flip this around because of the threat like the this text I don't know I'm probably just gonna flip this around um and then what we got going on here there's no pictures of this kit uh, like I'm sure I'm sure there's some write up in a forum but I don't got time for that I don't want to dig around um so uh, trail gear provides all this so bolted this up you turn your steering wheel full full lock to the left and then I shut it off and took the keys out so the steering wheel locked um, so this is full lock to the left 
Um, tighten these bolts down all the way as far out as it'll go. And then put, put this bolt on. I don't know what this piece is for, but I put it there because I feel like it gives it a better straight shot. I don't know if that's what it's for. It's not specified in the directions or anything, but I'm going to put it there. So call me an idiot or something. I don't know, but I'm putting it there and I'm going to put a washer on the back side, and then I'll have a lock washer and another nut. So I'll check back with you in a minute. So took the stabilizer down, as you can see. Tightened this bolt pretty tight. <clears throat> as you can see, there's a slight gap, but I don't want to over tighten this bolt and strip it out because it's kind of weak, but that's fine. I don't think that's going to cause any issues. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this now. So <clears throat> to give you some more clear direction on what I did, is I loose fit everything because I didn't have anything to base what I was doing off of. So I put the bracket on, put the bolt through, hook this up, just hand tie everything, hand tie everything here just to see what I was looking at because I didn't, I don't know what I'm looking at. <clears throat> and so I was just making stuff up and then you know it looked pretty good so I uh, tightened the top bolt tightened the bottom bolt tightened this bolt here and then tightened all four of these and now you wanna you want to turn the wheels full lock to lock and just make sure everything's good so I'm gonna do that now keep looking at is if this is in line. See how it's straight? It's not at an angle or anything. So I decided by by <clears throat> turning the wheel and looking at it, um, I'm going to loosen these bolts up. And you see how it's like this? I'm going to make it a little more vertical. Not much, just a little bit. Because when I turn it fully to the right, <clears throat> it kind of drops this down at an angle like this a little bit, which I don't really like. So I'm going to try to correct that angle a little bit. So that's full lock to the right, and that angle looks a lot better now. So I'm going to go ahead and I got to fill it up with gas. So I'm going to go test drive it. Fill up with gas, see how it's doing. So, I did the sway bars. <clears throat> I did the drag link, the relay rod, all the tie rod ends. Um, the steering stabilizer. And as you can see, it's way more responsive. Like, I think it was on the sway bar video. 
when I would do that, I wasn't even afraid to do it because I wouldn't go anywhere. Now I'm kind of scared because as you can see, like the slightest touch moves the whole truck. So my steering's way more responsive. <coughs> Gosh. <coughs> and even the ride is better because the sway bars are actually attached to the chassis and not just all willy-nilly and making noises and when i hit potholes it's sturdy like it just it just absorbs everything way better so but my knock my one knock about the steering stabilizer well the upgraded steering stabilizer kit upgrade steering kit from trail gear their steering stabilizer directions and hardware is junk so I mean I don't know if you can just buy the drag link and relay rod and stuff like that but I don't know maybe like maybe next time if I ever have to if I ever buy another Land Cruiser and do this upgrade I'll probably go with the Marlin crawler kit but I mean we'll see how this one does it's just I had to buy a whole uh, kit bolt kit just to put my steering stabilizer on when it's supposed to have all that hardware in it so kind of disappointed about that but so far so good and now you'll want to get an alignment so you can see I already got an alignment it's pretty straight I mean obviously it has a little sometimes to the left sometimes to the right but I'm probably gonna end up doing the you can like tighten the steering box or something like that I'm probably going to look into doing that. I haven't done any research on it. I just keep hearing about it. So my next steering video will probably be the steering box adjustment. So anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. I hope this helped. I forgot the most important step. Um, when you're done with all your old parts, just make sure you throw them into your yard. That's what you do if you're a car guy.